Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the Sea of Thieves service is temporarily unavailable. Please try again later. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to restart both your Xbox as well as your computer, depending on whatever application or medium you're using to access the game. So that's the first thing I recommend doing. Uh, something else, again, now this is more specific for the computer version of the game, which is largely what this tutorial is based on. You can go ahead and check the status of the servers, in which case I'm going to have a link in the description of my video, guys. So go ahead and navigate over to that. And it's going to tell you what the current status is and if all systems are working as expected, which it should. If you're having an issue here, there's really nothing you can do except just wait it out and the issue should resolve itself once they get everything back online. So again, something else I recommend looking into. Also, if you're using a VPN service, you may want to consider disabling that or a proxy server to connect to the internet. And you can attempt to reset your network settings back to default. And then if you reset your computer, you will need to enter back in your Wi-Fi credentials to get back online. But that is one other thing we can attempt here if you're having issues with other websites as well. So if you open up the search menu, and you type in settings, best match, you come back with settings, go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select network and internet. And then on the right side, you want to go down underneath advanced network settings. And select underneath more settings, network reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. This will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the reset now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select yes. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And I would suggest restarting your computer at this time. And then hopefully at this point your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.